So I was meaning to cover this in the past, but I just never got around to it. In case you don't know, there are a bunch of these strange giant letters out of bounds in certain Borderlands 3 locations. There's so many actually, I was starting to think that these would be some kind of code that we can enter into the game to get some kind of like secret skin, gun, or this was just some kind of like special shift code that we can enter for some golden keys. I didn't know exactly what these were signifying and neither did the community. These were boggling our minds for quite some time. Recently, however, about a couple weeks ago, a developer came out and mentioned on the Borderlands show what these exactly signify and why they were added into different locations outside of the map, thankfully. And not to mention, I know this was talked about a couple weeks ago, but this wasn't something that was highly covered by a lot of content creators. And I thought this would be something that I could pass more around to the community so this could help clear up some confusion for other Borderlands 3 players that still may be curious about these letters. Also, I'm going to be showing how to get to all of the letters that I know of anyways outside the map. But yeah, on that note, now let's go ahead and get into the developer talking about these. Hey, Graham! I want to say thanks to you and Gearbox for making this my game of the year. I love the areas, levels you and your team came up with, and I can't wait to see what's in store for the future. Oh, thank you. I just want to say, I'm sorry, I just want to ask, the community has found multiple letters across Pandora, usually outside the map, like yeah. a K in uh, Carniv uh, Carnivora, and a K... Yeah, and a K mm -hmm. in the droughts. Uh, what's up with those Easter eggs? We've been trying to solve it, but no results so far. Thanks. Uh, well, there's not much to solve there. Uh, that is an example of a artist who came on to help uh, wrap up that those particular environments, uh, Eric Dosher. Uh, he's a fantastic artist. He's also been doing a lot of the comic book, uh, little oh, comic cool. things oh, on nice. Twitter. Oh, that's, oh. Um, it was basically him just putting a little Easter egg for his kids. This oh. Is kids oh. Um, and there's other little bits and like, uh, like that kind of spread around the game. You know, it's, I, I like my team to feel like they can put their own little personal stamp on stuff uh, as long as it doesn't create a bug, uh, <laughs> right? you know, um, as long as it doesn't break anything. And, you know, uh, that's just a little bit of our personality coming through in, in the game and the environments. That's cool. And uh, that's what that's about. I cool. love those little stories, those little yeah. touches, right? Those personal touches. Yep. Mm. So as you heard there, one of the artists that was finishing up the locations decided to add his own little personal Easter eggs outside of the maps for his children. I have to say that's pretty cool and if I was a developer I would do the same thing if I was allowed and not to mention just finding out of bounds secrets like this is a lot of fun for players in general. I honestly wish more developers would do this within their games. Like these letters aren't the only little secrets outside the maps that the developers decided to add in. I know another one for example is that secret developer button. I don't know if you all saw that video or not about it. If you haven't I'll have a link down below in the description to it for you all to check out. Anyways now let's go ahead and get into all the locations for these letters that I know of anyways. First one I'm going to be starting off with will be located at the Droughts on Pandora. Be right around here. So, from the Catch a Ride station, you just want to head up this flight of stairs, and it'll be right over here in this little section. As you can see, you can find a K back in here, along with some other random things as well. And, not to mention some loot. Okay, so the next one will be located at the Splinterlands at Pit Stops. So now we'll just have to catch a ride. I got you covered at the catch ride. And from the catch a ride station, you just head down this road. Bust the left right here. And it's gonna be up this little hill. Oh, shoot. I did not realize I could make it over that little bump. Just got out of my vehicle. Thinking I wasn't going to make it. Anyways. Oh no! What the? Terrible, terrible driving. Sorry guys. So I head up to the top of this hilltop. Why is this rack known as the Phoenix? Ferret, Volt Hunter and find out. You might have been familiar with this area as one of Hammerlock's hunt locations. But yeah, you just want to jump up here and this will lead you outside of the map as you can see in the top right corner and right over here is a random letter L with the mailbox because why not this is Borderlands so yeah as you see once again way outside of the map here so the next one will actually be right over here at the other end of the Splinterlands over at the chop shop and now when we get over here we're gonna hop in a car again just to get to this destination a little bit faster 
and it'll be right over here. I don't want to hop out. Right here. I missed you. Head up this friend. cliff side. And go around this. Be careful here. Yeah, as you can see, the next letter will be in this tree. Once again, it's another letter L, randomly outside of the map on the Splinterlands. Oh, and also, there's a pretty secretive chest here that you can loot. And would you look at that? Garbage. But anyways, this bone structure is really interesting, too. It'd be cool to fight something this big in the game. I know there are supposed to be dinosaurs in a future DLC, so who knows? Maybe we will eventually fight something this big. It'd be sweet. So for the next three letters, we're going to be heading over to Carnivora. Okay, so I just went ahead and skipped going through all of the beginning there. Now I'm out here in a vehicle within this big terrain. We're going to be heading over here in this general area, so yeah. Let's get it! Good. Fast forward this a little bit. Alright. Now we're over in the general area that it's at. Some of you might have found this one. This one isn't as hidden as the others. But it's still pretty hidden. Just want to head up here. And the next letter will be down in this container. It's a very concealed area down here. You got some goodies going on as well, once again, that we can loot. And we have another letter K. So random, right? Anyway, so these next two letters will be two Ds, the double Ds, and we don't have to fast travel anywhere. They're still located at this area, which is nice. We don't have to do that much traveling. They're actually located right next door over here. Right over here on top of this cliff side. I have to do a bit of traveling. As you can see, there will be these random trash bags that'll kind of guide us to where they are. Oh my gosh, really? Come on. Fail him. Oh, whew. Don't fall off there. Yeah, just some random trash bags that'll lead up to this area. We got just loads of trash right here. And an interesting design going on here where it looks like someone was camping out as you can see we got the double D's right here on this couch pretty interesting but yeah I guess that's about wrapping up this video I know there are more letters out there I just didn't cover them all in this video just because I don't know exactly where all of them are there is quite a bit of them. But anyways, just a friendly reminder here at the end of the video, if you found this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. The support is greatly appreciated and it helps get this more passed around the Borderlands community. Also, if you're new around here, consider giving my channel a chance and sticking around and subscribing. I'll definitely be covering the Borderlands 3 DLC that's going to be coming out here soon. As always though, all of that is totally up to you. Thanks for at least taking the time to watch and listen. Until next time though everyone, peace.